Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. A homework problem for an 11-year-old student has parents screaming that something is wrong. Here's the question. Bob adds two fractions, but does not use the lowest common denominator. Complete the working. And here is the sum. We have 2 divided by an unknown denominator plus 2 over 3 is equal to 12 over an unknown denominator plus an unknown numerator over 48, which is equal to an unknown numerator over 48, which is equal to 11 divided by an unknown denominator. You are to fill in all of the unknowns. So how are you supposed to do it? At first, the problem looks quite intimidating, but let's go through it step by step. So a natural place to start the question is to go from left to right. We are adding two fractions, 2 divided by some unknown denominator, plus 2 divided by 3. So your first instinct might be to try to solve for this denominator. However, you don't have enough information at the beginning. The sum of these two fractions will be equal to 12 divided by some unknown denominator, plus an unknown numerator over 48. But what we can do is focus on the second fraction. We have a denominator that's equal to 48, and we know that will be scaled from a denominator that is equal to 3. So how much is this denominator scaled by? Well, 48 divided by 3 is equal to 16. In order to have an equivalent fraction, the numerator must also be scaled by the same factor. So this numerator has to be scaled by 16 from 2. So 2 multiplied by 16 is equal to 32. So that gives us one of the unknowns. So let's continue solving the problem. The sum of these two fractions is a fraction with the denominator equal to 48. So this denominator of 48 is exactly equal to this denominator of 48. So in this brain teaser, we would think that these two fractions will have a common denominator. So this previous denominator must also be equal to 48, and we filled in this other unknown. We can now solve for the original denominator of 2 divided by something. We take this numerator of 12, and we see that it is scaled 6 times from the numerator of 2. So the denominator must be scaled by the same factor. 48 divided by 6 is equal to 8. So this denominator is equal to 8. We now have the sum of two fractions. We have a common denominator of 48, so we can just add the numerators. 12 plus 32 is equal to 44. Finally, we take a look at the simplification. 44 is reduced by a factor of 4 to get to 11, so we need to reduce the denominator by the same factor. So 48 divided by 4 is equal to 12. And we have now solved the problem. 2 divided by 8 plus 2 divided by 3 is equal to 12 divided by 48 plus 32 divided by 48, which equals 44 over 48, which equals 11 over 12. And that's the answer. Now the astute viewer may wonder, is this actually the answer? Because let's take a look at what this problem says. We have 2 over 8 plus 2 over 3, and this is equal to 12 over 48 plus 32 over 48. Is this the normal way you would add 2 over 8 plus 2 over 3? No! If you are adding 2 over 8 plus 2 over 3, you would look for the lowest common denominator, and the lowest common denominator of 8 and 3 is equal to 24. So you might think this could not possibly be the correct answer because Bob would actually do the sum by simplifying to the lowest common denominator of 24. It couldn't be equal to 48. But don't worry, the problem already has you covered. Bob is adding the two fractions, but does not use the lowest common denominator. So rest assured, this is in fact the correct answer to the question. For whatever reason, Bob decided to use the common denominator of 48 to add the fractions that's just how this problem is. It's a little puzzle. They already included a detail to cover this contingency. 
So this is the correct answer to the question. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.